Are you ready? You ready? I'm going to say, come on. My name is Lexi, I'm from Nashville, and I am a dog mom. I love hanging out with my friends and helping people overcome the things that they've been through in life and not let it define them. Come on. The first time I was molested was as a toddler. The first time I was raped, I was six. The first time I was sold, I was 11. After that first experience of being sold, he kind of gave me a hug and he said, you're gonna make me so much money. And I like didn't know what that meant. I just kind of like, you know, went back over to my grandparents' house. Um, and then he invited me over a different day. Um, and they had a camera set up and basically him and his friend um, essentially gang raped me um, for probably an hour. Um, and film the whole thing. And um, the fact that there is video out there somewhere um, of me and like being raped, and I don't know how that's been cut and edited to like look and appear like a certain way. The thing that went through my mind was, um, are people gonna see this? Like, is my family gonna see this and the people I care about the most? It always felt like a possibility in the back of my mind. Anytime I was over at that guy's house being raped, I could literally look out the window and see my grandmother's house and how close I was to being safe and would always like hope that somebody would come looking for me. And they just never did because I don't think anyone fathomed something like that happening literally right next door or within your own family. So right before any time a customer was brought into the room, I would be shown pornography and like being that young, I think it translated for me like as an overall thing, like as a woman, like this is what men expect from you and this is what people want from you. That went on for about uh, two or three years and just kind of ended because I hit puberty. Um, and it was actually, the last summer of it happening was like the most violent um, because a lot of the men were a pedophile clientele. It was like a whole nother level to experience rejection from people that were abusing me. So it's like, I'm not even good enough for these people that like literally don't care at all. One of the key things that helped me in walking away was forgiveness and just to kind of take that control back and choose to just let go of it. It's really freeing. <laughs> I no longer believe that my purpose is to be a commodity for men at all. And the way I see my purpose now is for others and to help other people overcome the stuff that's happened to them. Things now are amazing and more free than I ever thought that I would be. Gosh, I never even thought I'd be married. You know, I never thought anybody would want me after everything that I had been through. My husband and I have like a great time together and not that it's perfect, like we definitely fight. <laughs> but we choose each other and I think that's a, like a really beautiful thing. I'm really happy right now and I'm not just happy but I feel like I have like true joy.